Hi everybody and welcome to a new weekly vlog. It is how many days since we're back from the cruise? Mm, About four. four. I've caught a cold. Uh, I think I caught it on the way home, the return journey. Uh, anyway, I've just done a <laughs> patron's chat. Not feeling the best. i am got a bit of a headache. I'm feeling rather sniffly. Got a bit of a sniffly, sniffly nose. Matt is cooking something spicy from the HelloFresh that he's kind of altered and doctored a little bit. Um, but there seems to be a lot of food, my love. So I'll turn the camera around in a moment and show there's you. plenty. Matt says there's plenty of food. There is plenty, plenty of food. Probably enough to feed a family of four. <laughs> Maybe even six. Uh, so we're going to watch. We're catching up on all of our TV programmes. It is good to be home. Uh, hopefully you are enjoying all of the cruise, the pre-cruise vlogs and then the cruise vlogs. I'm still doing all the laundry for the holiday. It's, it's been, and catching up on work and all the royal news that's going on. So it's been a few days. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what we're having for dinner. So there are meatballs. This is what was with the HelloFresh dinner. <gasps> and then Matt's made... <sighs> All of that, that's a big, that is a lot. That is a lot. I think we could probably make that last um, But you have a cold lunch. and you have to feed a cold. I do, but there's only so much my stomach can physically hold. <laughs> you'll get what you're given, right? I want the plate to get empty. So anyway, that is our Nurses dinner. Orders. Good morning and welcome to Friday. I have just woken up, it is midday. I had a very, very long sleep, but I'm feeling a lot better than what I was yesterday. Here is Rory in the garden. Hello, my darling. I know in the vlog we haven't seen Rory for a while, but here he is. Hello, my gorgeous. I've got my Virgin Voyages mug with my coffee. Uh, oh, and here's Bo as well. So I am going to, in a moment, <laughs> Once I've had my coffee and maybe something to eat, I am going to go get ready. And then I have got some, well, a royal video to make for my royal reviewer channel. Uh, just thought I'd also pan out and show you the garden. Because you've not seen that in a few weeks. Great skies, a little bit of blue poking through. So, yeah, there's a little bit of promise. <laughs> but it has still been very cold. But I think when we were away, there were a lot of storms and bad weather. So we missed the bulk of the bad weather. Let's do a little flower check because I know uh, we haven't seen them for a while so you can see some of the spring bulbs are beginning to poke through um, and they are a little bit in that part but they are a lot poking through in this part. I mean look you can see I think they are the tulips although I think I did put a variety of giant tulip in that pot so they are the giant tulips are tuliping <laughs> as everyone's saying these days um so yes this is the garden today um it's very calm it's very quiet a little bit of wind but not too much uh and it's time to get the day started hi all it's saturday matt is unboxing the hello fresh and occasionally you get a free gift and i've, I've always wanted one of these my loves it's a dish matic style thing. Anyway, you fill it with like cleaner and then it scrubs and dispenses cleaner at the same time. It's supposed to be, I've seen it in lots of TikTok cleaning girls things. Um, so I'm lying down because I've just had a shower and every time I have a burst of energy, I then have a bit of a down. I'm still not feeling particularly well, my loves. So anyway, um, what, oh, there's Bo outside. Can you just about see him coming in? So you're not going to look at me until I've done my face. Um, Hello Fresh. This is what we're having this week. So last week we didn't really pick what we wanted. Um, so there was a few weird things. But this time we've picked. So we've got peri peri chicken and chips, which I think looks very, very nice. And I think Bo might come up and, and help as well. Um, so the next one, they're all the wrong way around. Uh, Chipotle pork chili. There we go. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that one. Has it got those weird bean things? You in said it? you wanted it. I know, but it's got. I ran it all by you. It's got those weird bean things. We don't have to have the beans. Okay, we? well we won't. We, we won't have the weird beans. Uh, creamy rigatoni. Now I definitely like that one. That's um, 
to, to the diva's liking. Um, then we have cheddar cheeseburger with wedges and roasted slaw. That's, again, to the diva's liking. And then we have tandoori-inspired chicken and potato tray bake. Yay! So the only one I don't particularly fancy is that one with the weird beans. There we go. There's Matt. He's just come back from the gym. He's still... Oh, hello, you. How are you? What are you up to? Okay, it's a few hours later. My hair is absolutely atrocious. This is just bed hair that has been combed. Um, I have a Rory down here. Like I say, I've been to sleep. Um, I just had a bit of a downward... <laughs> a downward spiral um so i went to bed matt put me to bed and i slept i think for probably about four or five hours i'm now awake i think i've realized that today is a write-off when it turn when it comes to filming any sort of royal reviewer video that i really wanted to do so i think what i'm gonna do now is either watch tv or sit down and do something really simple like to me editing is quite relaxing um so i might edit one of the next travel vlogs i'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the day and possibly take it easy on sunday as well tomorrow there we go matt's cooked a chicken pasta from the hello fresh and we're gonna watch that uh with season 16 the girl groups episode of drag race Hi everyone, it is Sunday and I've managed to sleep again in the afternoon. Uh, I woke up feeling a lot better than what I did the previous day. Um, only once I'd had my shower and I'd been to my parents to make sure everything was okay back at home, um, that I felt ill again, so I ended up going back to bed. But I thought I would show you this beautiful evening. Uh, just look at the sky over there, it just looks... I know it looks dark on camera up above, but it's actually a really, really, really pretty colour. Um, it's not going to rain, I don't think. Fingers crossed. Um, but yes, it's um, this is it. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to spend some time in the garden and I wanted to start pruning my roses and making sure that everything was kind of cut back ready for spring. Like, for example, this and over here and yeah i just wanted to make like oh yeah over here as well see this uh i wanted to make sure that it's all cut back and ready to receive spring so hopefully over the next few days we will be doing well, i will be doing some work in the garden oh look there are two kitties waiting for me at the window hello rory hello Bo. I just opened the door for Rory and he said, no, I don't want to come out. Oh, oh, look at Bo. Look how long he looks when he stretches. Hi all, we've come for a little walk just to clear the cobwebs away. So uh, right next to this gorgeous pool, there's a, a road that's quite busy. Uh, but if you look, it's, yeah, the skies are grey. Um, so I can't bring you the sunny climbs of the Caribbean but we can bring you this and it still is pretty in its own little January way and it's nice to see all the season February, February way I've got my months mixed up I'm still stuck in January no I'm still a bit feverish my <laughs> uh, I'm feeling a little bit better today a lot more than I was yesterday I did survive the night aka Roger style uh, I was <laughs> I was a little delirious yesterday, um, but I did not make a video uh, saying my last will and testament. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm here, and um, and you're not getting rid of me quite quite so soon. So we've come away out just to blow away the cobwebs and see the change in nature. Um, it's nice to find intent in nature. <laughs> Go. we're passing the trains i thought i'll get trains for people because people like trains uh, lots of people like trains and we've got quite a few so this is where they do the polar express every year and they're already selling tickets my goodness february and they're thinking about christmas already so there we go some nice old carriages for you reminds me of thomas the tank engine there we go there's a little horse in a field he's got his jacket on for winter 
Porsche. Oh, we're in Morrison's and we've just seen these Yorkshire teas. Yorkshire tea tastes like toast and jam, tastes like tea and biscuits. Oh, no thank you, ma'am. Matt's just cooked dinner. And what do we have today? We have peri peri chicken. It looks really lovely. And there's a, like a mayonnaise. A garlicky mayo. A garlic mayo to go with. Yum, yum. I haven't filmed anything for the weekly vlog for ages, but Ooh. Matt's come to play squash. I'm not swimming, but we are going out for a meal after, so that's why I'm here. So I'm, I'm spectating today. <laughs> so here we go. We're at the leisure centre. Woohoo! Well, we have the boys joining us. It is... What day are we? We are Saturday. We are Saturday. I'm getting my days mixed up. So the HelloFresh box came for this week. Now, this is meals that I think we've selected, didn't we? No. No. Oh, no. this is the, this is the mystery got. box. So I don't know what we've got in this one. So let's have a look. So we didn't select it because we forgot, basically. Yeah. Uh, so let's find the recipe cards and see what delights we've got. We have a chipotle beef rigatoni. Okay, I like that one. That's yeah, that's nice. good. Thai-inspired pork and noodle stir fry. Okay. We'd have to face. we'd have to pimp that one a little bit, I think. Yeah. Uh, loaded honey peri peri smashed potatoes with corn salsa, baby gem, and Greek style cheese. Interesting. That actually looks quite nice. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Sweet potato and chickpea Rogan Josh with green beans, flake almonds, and garlic naan. We can take the chickpeas out and put some chicken in. Yeah, and we probably didn't have the almonds either. I quite like the almonds. <laughs> Just take everything out. <laughs> and then sticky honey pork rice bowl. Okay. We might need a few extra things. I mean, we could have spring rolls with it. We could. <laughs> I'm tempted to just open everything up, see what we've got, and see what I can make from it. Yeah. Should we do like a mystery... Mystery uh, meal. Matt right? Makes. Ooh. Matt Makes. There's a series for you. There it is. Matt Makes from... It's a bit like, what was that old programme where they were given like... You know, they did the red tomato and the green pepper. Yeah. And they had to hold up the, the paddles. And they were just given basic ingredients and they had to concoct something. What was that show called? Oh, was it Ready Steady Cook? Ready Steady, it's a bit like Ready Steady Cook. Ugh. So it is still Saturday, and I thought I would show you a rare glimmer of sunshine. Uh, it's been a bit wet and grey skies over the last couple of days, but it's really, really gorgeous today, and it would be the perfect weather for me to go out and start to actually prune the roses, because it's, it's getting to the point where it needs to be done now. So when we're back from shopping, we need to go to Morrison's, uh, I think I will come out. Here I am today. Hello, everybody. Uh, I will come out and I will start to prune the roses, which is not, you know, as easy a job as it sounds. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but there are lots of roses. So I need to be speedy. I need to be accurate. <laughs> and I will take you along on the journey. There we go. We're currently at Morrison's. And yeah, we've got quite a few provisions for later. <laughs> but we are having a Sunday roast as well. So yeah. We're back from shopping and as always, someone has come to inspect everything. So I'm not going to run through everything because we've got quite a lot of things, but I am going to point out some of the important things. So Matt is going to do a beautiful Sunday roast dinner. Uh, so we're going to use, not the herb, not the herby chicken. We're going to use this chicken breast joint frozen from Morrison's works really, really well. Um, I'm sure you can see some of the things that we've got for, that will go with that. I am off chocolate. I don't know why, but I am off chocolate. So I've got some aged red Leicester to have with some crackers. I couldn't find the pickled onions that I like. So I've gone for, because I want the tang of pickled onions, I've gone for some salt and vinegar crisps to go with it. Go figure. Anyway, as soon as I find the pickled onions that I like, I'll get those. Country Life Butter, they didn't have the normal, so we've gone for lighter, so I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Matt's got his protein yogurts. Matt also fancied some oranges, so we've gone for these easy peels. I wanted to bring some nature into the house, so I've got some daffodils. Hopefully they will open uh, quite quickly. I've also got a lemon and an orange, because I want to make a restorative kind of tea with orange and lemon and honey. 
So uh, I'm going to use those. So there we are. And we've also got some, some sausage rolls as well. We do. Um, yeah, we've got quite... And all of this cost about 50 something. 53. 53 pounds. Uh, and there was a few items that we had from... Was it Home Bargains? Home Bargains. It was Home Bargains. I always get Home Bargains. And what's the other one? Uh, B&M. B&M mixed up. It was Home Bargains. And we've got this for both. Oh yeah, we're going we're gonna to try him on chicken because we're still struggling to find his food, his fish. This, the seriously good uh, company, he loves their fish, uh, but they don't always have it in pets at home. So we're going to try and try him on that. Uh, from the home bargains, we got this. Poor, poor, it looks really, really good on your hair. And it's actually quite cheap in B&M. Uh, and I've had a bit of... I've had a little bit of rash on my chest. I, it's my eczema. I've always had eczema. Uh, and it's flaring up. So I want to try this Sanex Zero body wash. My new skin and me has just come in. So I'm still doing it because it's actually really, really good. And thank you to everyone who used my Lincoln code that managed to get all of this. Uh, I think your first order is, uh, I think it was a three or, it's under six pounds. It's really, really cheap. Anyway, check out my Lincoln code. I think it's still working and you get a massive discount. So I like it because it's literally three steps and you're done. You've got your cleanser, which I use with a cotton wool pad. You've got your moisturiser and then you've got your formula. By the way, that the moisturiser has hyaluronic acid in it, which is really good for your skin. Uh, very sort of good for anti-aging. And then your Skin and Me, which is formulated for you based on the questionnaire, has all the active ingredients that you need for your skin. So those are my active ingredients and it's all done by a proper pharmacist. So there we go. Uh, I will leave everything linked below. There we go, Matt's just cooked dinner. It's a lovely chicken oh, pasta, yeah. Chipotle chicken pasta from the HelloFresh. Oh, beef, it's beef pasta. But it's been pimped a bit, I think. Yeah. So we finally took the plunge <laughs> and bought a toaster. This one was six pounds from Morrison's. Um, and it's just very, very small. We didn't want to spend a fortune. We just wanted a toaster just for quickness. So this is an ordinary slice of bread. And when you pop it in, it doesn't quite go all the way down. I mean, you would expect from a toaster, even a six pound one, that it actually fits a regular slice of toast. I mean, these... These are not, this is not a massive loaf. This is an ordinary toasty loaf from Morrison's. So it's got, oh, it's on the lowest setting. I think I need to maybe put it on. We'll try it on four and we'll see how long it takes. Um, so it's heating up inside. There is the heating element. Um, but will it cook the top? Will it be okay? Let's see. Okay, so it did cook the bottom, but not the top. So I've, I've had to turn the slice around to do the bottom. But on the setting four, it literally took about a minute and a half, if that. So it, it's still quicker than using our um, grill in the oven. Hi, everybody. It is Tuesday. I'm reliably informed it's Tuesday. And it's the evening and Matt's cooking some dinner. We, we are kind of having a bit of a mismatched HelloFresh, aren't we, yes. concoction. So we had these extra fries. They came, and we don't actually go with anything that we ordered. So we thought we'd have half rice, half chips, and yeah. a... What's the curry called? It's a Rogan Josh. With chicken. Yes. We've taken out the beans, and... Remember I said, like, all the nuts come in packages, so we don't really like nuts on... Oh, I quite like them. Well, you... Oh. Matt can have the nuts, but they... My point is, they come in a sealed bag, so if you don't want to have them, you don't have to have them. You can have what you want on, or take on or off, whatever you want. There's also a naan bread coming out. But I thought I'd show you my little uh, February pre-spring display. So we've got... I just wanted to bring some fresh flowers inside, because you just need something sunny and yellow so it's like a yellow themed display it's to bring on the sun it's been raining today so it hasn't worked so we've got the daffodils we've got um cut glass vase we've got yellow candle a tall yellow candle uh with a cut glass candlestick and a little bird which i think is very very sweet and gorgeous oh here it is look at this that actually looks really, 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 really nice. So Matt was going to do a roast dinner, but we didn't get round to doing the roast dinner. No, we've got over all the, the stuff for it though. It's just yeah. finding a day when I can be bothered. Maybe tomorrow. 
No, tomorrow's Valentine's. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and we're having. We're gonna go get steak, aren't we? Yeah. Ah, I'll show you the Valentine's Day card in a moment. But look at all of this. Song. Oh, look! I've just come downstairs, and and there's a big scream on the floor. Uh, no, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And here's my Valentine. Absolutely. And I've been so... Matt obviously opened the card that I got him yesterday. Uh, oh, you've come to look too. Oh, there's a beautiful bunch of flowers. Look at these. I'm going to have to add them to my um, January display. But look. Oh, Bubba, what is it? Shall we have a look? There we go. You're the best thing I've ever found on the internet. And... There are some really, really cute photos of us inside. There we go. And here is the one that I got for Matt to my fiance with love on Valentine's Day. And beautiful pictures from our holiday. I like how you picked the one where half my head's cut off. Oh, it's a nice picture, Tom. Okay, so I've tried the toaster again, and this time I've managed to get them in by putting them on their side. The other piece I had before was too long to go on the side, but these other pieces actually been okay so we'll give it a whirl and there we go the bread has been toasted okay so who does not love receiving beautiful flowers so what i'm going to do is very very carefully remove the wrapping okay so it was preserved in like this little tissue that's damp it's actually quite a good way of doing it now normally they have and it, i've just seen it here uh, flour food. So there's flour food for day one, I can just about say. And I'm not sure. Oh, this is some flour food. Okay, this is different. I've not seen this before. So, if you look, there are different flour foods. So you've got uh, day one, and then you feed on day three. So that's, yeah, there you go. I like that. <laughs> like so. Okay, it's powder. So there you go. So the powder goes in. Then I'm going to fill up. There you go. There's the powder. I'm going to fill the bars up a bit more. Okay, so I've left some room for some water displacement and it says to stir it. So I'm going to give it a really, really, really good stir. There we go. Okay, so I need to keep this day free food out. So I'm going to put that there. Um, so that I've got that to hand when I need to use it next. So let's now cut the roses free. So you have to cut a little bit off the bottom, uh, not terribly too much, just enough on a slight angle. Oh, these smell really, really gorgeous. So for example, here is a rose, just literally cut on an angle, I would say about there. So that's the kind of angle that you need to leave. And you can, of course, strip some of the lower leaves off. This will help the plant to sustain. Now, I've just noticed as well, there is a little side shoot. So we don't want the side shoot. So you can just break it off or just give it a little snip just to tidy it up. And then that should be at the perfect red rose cut. So Bo, I'm hoping you're gonna be a very good boy. Let's pop that in there. There you go, see that's perfect. Uh, and you can do the same with the foliage parts as well. Just cut a little bit off, off the bottom. If it's tough like this one. And it's broken the kitchen scissors. I think I need to use my secateurs and get a new pair of kitchen scissors. Okay, so I am back with the correct equipment. So. Uh, the kitchen scissors will go through the normal roses, but not the big thick foliage. Let's get back to business. So what I was trying to do uh, was to cut that at an angle, which I think I just managed. Bo, what are you doing, my sweet pea? So that just goes in there. Um, I'll try. There we go. To pull these off. Bo, no. Don't eat the roses, sweetie.
Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm taking a few minutes out of my busy day to just sit and relax. And that is one of the things. Oh, do you like my new um, Virgin Voyages mug as well? Bought this on board the ship, so I'm loving this mug. It's replaced my day mug. It's become my day mug. Anyway, um, one of the things that I've I spoke about it before and I want to speak about it again is taking time out for yourself and it's Valentine's Day so I hope you've all had a fantastic Valentine's Day. I'm hoping you're loving the roses. I decided to put them in here and we've got some nice uh, ambience on in the background all Valentine's Day themed and it made me think about self-love. Uh, I think that's very 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 important and one of the things I wanted to do instead of like New Year's resolutions, which everyone breaks. Well, most people break. If you can stick to your New Year's resolutions, then fantastic. But one of the things I wanted to do was just make some nice kind of self-care, self-love, fits in with Valentine's Day, um, things that you can do for yourself on a daily basis. And one of the things that I've been using for the past six months now, I think it is, is the Readly app. Now, Readly, is a collection of magazines, newspapers, all in one place, digital. Um, and of course, you can access it on the go. Um, it means that you are helping the environment because you're not cutting down trees. It's all there, it's easily accessible. And when you've got five minutes of self-care for self-love, it's amazing. It really, really is. Um, and it's something that I've been able to stick at and I thought I'd do a little bit of an update. So for those of you that used my Lincoln code um, to get two months free and you cancel any time, do let me know how you've got on, but I can tell you how I've got on. By the way, that offer still stands, so I will link to that in the description box below. Okay, so I'll just show you. So the Readly app, once you've downloaded it, it's really easy to download. So basically, you can search for whatever you want. There are newspapers, arts and culture, hobbies and interests. That's another thing I really wanted to do as well, um, was to search for new sort of crafting, DIY things. So you've got things like, like knitting. Um, there's so many different things. I mean, if you just want, I mean, if you are interested in starting out quilting, I mean, just think how therapeutic that could be. Then you just click on the magazine and you can just literally flick through the magazine and it is that easy. Um, there you go. So you can literally just flick through the pages. Uh, you can pinch and zoom to read in. If you want to read uh, like the full article, you can sort of do go down, you can scroll down. Um, it's all very, very, very easy and accessible. Um, so some of the other things that I've been interested in is the newspaper. So while I was away on the cruise, um, as you know, I'm uploading all the cruise vlogs now. Whenever I've got some downtime in the cabin, being away from home, I like to keep abreast of all the news. So to have access to all the newspapers was absolutely fantastic. If you look, there are just so many of them. I mean, you can literally um, just sort of scroll through. So it is just so, so easy. Again, you can just pinch and zoom. You can read the different articles. Um, it really is fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is just type in uh, mindfulness for men. I mean, it doesn't have to be for men, but there is a magazine here for mindfulness for men. So uh, depending on what you're interested in, just use the search bar um, and you will be able to find whatever it is that you want. I mean, just look, there you go. Why mindfulness is beneficial. If you want to educate yourself further if one of your new year's or self-care self-love resolutions or intentions is to learn something new i mean there are all sorts of different i mean look biology matt's a biology teacher so uh, you know this is probably something that he could be quite interested in there are also so many different back issues of magazines um it's just like having a library at your fingertips whatever you can think of is most likely be there um so like i said go to our description box use our link and you will get two free months and you can cancel at any time please let me know in the comment section how you got on and what is your favourite magazine. Also, please let me know how your Valentine's Day went. Uh, we're going to have a Valentine's meal tonight. 
uh, that we're home cook. Well, Matt is is home cooking, um, <laughs> but I need to get all the table ready and make all that really, really lovely. Um, so let me know how that went, and let me know how you got on with the Readly app. Oh, Rory's on the bed on Valentine's Day. Look, oh, Rory has lots of Valentines. He does. He's got lots of people that love him and he loves his tummy being rubbed, don't you, sweetie? Look at that, having all the tummy time. <laughs> Look at her face. Oh, handsome. You handsome boy. Oh. Matt fixed the scissors. Matt for Whoa. Matt. There we go. And I thought they were broken forever. So it's Valentine's night and Matt picked up a few things for Valentine's dinner. So all of this lot cost how much? £15. Pounds. £15. Pounds. And there is a bottle of uh, pink champagne and as well. And a dessert. And a dessert. So Maris Piper Dauphinoise Potato. These are Morrison's. Uh, Rainbow Chantenay Carrots. They're very, very nice. Ooh, with acacia honey butter. Um, Aberdeen Angus pulled beef en coup. And this is very interesting. A French camembert with cherry bell pepper sharing bread heart. Oh, romantic. Couldn't really see in the packets, but these are the un uncooked, obviously. But they've got little heart signs on them. And uh, the camembert is really in the shape of a heart. Look at that. So I've set a very simple Valentine's table today. Uh, no elaborate red tablecloth or that kind of thing. So we've just put a simple candle. I'm sure we're going to be joined by Bo as well. So it'll be just the three of us. Rory's gone out. Yes, I think we need a removal. He's just intrigued because I've just lit the candle. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Right, you sit on there. Um, and then we're going to put the camembert wheel on that one so we can share it as a starter. And then we'll just have a nice evening. And we might have a little bit of a pamper as well later. Ooh, Ooh we'll, we'll do our feet. There we go. So this is Vulgari. It's what we got on holiday. And it's based on gemstones. So the colour is red for like ruby on the lid. If you look, if you look, it's like red based. So... is so not classy. We've got cups of tea with our Valentine's dinner. We both didn't fancy alcohol and we're going on a hen do at the weekend and a stag do. So we didn't really want alcohol. So cups of tea it is. How British. So here it is. Woohoo, you're joining us for Valentine's Yay. dinner. Uh, we've also we're joined by Bo as well and Rory's floating around somewhere. He has been up. Oh, he's there. He's come in because it was wet outside. So go on, go for it. What do you do? Just it should just be like a, it's like a tear and share. Yeah, bread. Um, is it? What's it got in it? Like garlic or anything? It's like garlic and chili, I think. Okay, some... and then we just dip the cheese in. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. We it's it's a meal for four. Yes. There we go. The camembert was really, really, really delicious. It was quite light actually. It wasn't very heavy. So we've we've had all of that. Bo is still with us, Rory's gone off. Uh, but I just had a really wonderful idea for an invention. How about they make ceramic wine flute or a glass, but in ceramic, so that you can have a cup of tea discreetly and it still looks, you know, like you fancy. Ugh. There we go, here is our Valentine's meal. Doesn't it look lovely? Yum, yum. Hi all, it is, what day are we? We are Friday and I've just done a really quick living room refresh. I've wiped down the fabrics with a damp sponge and some washing up liquid. Bo was watching me, so he's he sat over here. Aren't you? You were watching what I was doing very intently. Uh, I'm washing the throw that goes over the back of the chair. The roses are still doing really, really well. I've got to remember in a couple of days time um, to change the water and put the three day thing in you know what i mean the sachet of food that needs to go in so i've had a quick refresh i did the trays yesterday there's a bag of litter for next week uh the kitchen isn't looking too bad um there we go just matt's water bottling bo's food on the table so yeah everything's looking really really good there's rory 
Um, let's have a look outside. So, what's it like outside? We have a bit of cloud and a bit of blue sky. It's actually not a bad day. It looks quite well, actually. Um, so I'm really, really glad I pruned those roses, finally. Still got a bit of gardening to do. I need to cut down, I think I need to cut down the grasses. The buddleias, I think, can be pruned, hard pruned, almost back to the ground. Um, and I need to do a greenhouse refresh as well at some point. We are in next. We've just been looking for suits for the wedding. Uh, not our wedding. <laughs> We're being ushers. Um, so we've seen this. It looks like the perfect vanity table. What do you think? Okay, we have found this little stuffed dinosaur toy. Who does not think it doesn't look like bow? That just looks like bow. Look at the little legs! Isn't this just the most adorable little cute, but little, big kitty? We're waiting for the train. It's the Stag and Hendu. Not our Stag and Hendu. Uh, but we need to catch this one and then I'm changing and going on the Hendu to Manchester. For anybody wondering, this is the England Starbucks mug. So Matt's having a sandwich. Um, because I'm eating a bit earlier than what he, he is, I've had some kettle sea salt crisps. There's Matt's panini. He's had cheese and tuna. tuna. There we go. Give me a chink. Chink. Okay, that was a very, very, very packed train. We were like sardines, but we had some alcohol to get us through. There we go, so we're walking from the Stains train station to where I, I don't actually know. I'm really confused. I don't even know where we're staying, to be honest. All I know is it's booked and um, we just need to turn up, so there we go. Okay, so uh, I did say I wasn't going to drink, but this is not my first drink of the day. This is my third drink of the day. It's a porn star martini, so I think what you do is you tip that in and then off you go. Can anyone tell me if this building in Manchester has been used in a film? I feel like I recognise it. Okay, so we've come to Brown's for afternoon tea. Look at that grand door. I might have one installed myself. Look at that. Wow, look at this is what you call an impressive ceiling. Oh, we're, we're in Brown's and I've got a little Hindu party bag. So here we have the afternoon tea menu. Uh, please feel free to pause. Here is my latte. We've got a joke going. Some people have had moe, but I've had a coffee. There we go. Look at these. Wow. That Victoria sponge has my name all over it. Hi everyone, this is a really quick room tour. Normally you're used to seeing Matt, but I'm sleeping with Becky! <laughs> Hello, there's Becky. Hello. Um, so, this room is actually very fancy. We're in Manchester, it's called Rooms. Um, we have a four post bed, how fancy is that? We've got a TV, <laughs> we've got a mat, oh, well wait till I show you the bathroom. We've got a kitchenette, we have a little lounge area and Bit of a wardrobe um we're only staying for one night but the the bathroom let me just show you it's got like an opaque but it's got like a peephole so you can kind of you can you can see what's going on in the toilet so we're gonna have to come up with some bathroom rules uh, a code of a code of conduct so it's like a wet room there's the loo there's a shower curtain uh, a shower with a rainfall facility it's nice fancy mirror i'm wearing my my bridal thing sash, got a hair dryer, hand basin, an ironing board. It's all very well equipped. And um, so there we go, staying in a four poster bed without Matt. I'm just looking through the blinds and we have actually got quite a nice view of some nice old buildings. Sing, drink, dance. Oh, 
Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. There we go, two for one. Morning, Elliot. Yeah, so they'll be like, what's <laughs> Becky done to me <laughs> in the night? <laughs> Wow, we are on Canal Street, the famous Canal Street in Manchester. There we go, waiting in McDonald's. It's just, it's just like Argos. It's like Argos. Good morning, everybody. And I have a little bit of a sore head, I have to admit. Yeah, a little bit banging, but we're going to go for some breakfast now. It was a good night in the hotel room. Um, but let me turn the camera around and show you a few features that we found. So we think this room was probably made for like couples, maybe on a honeymoon or something, because it's a little bit kinky. So look at the um the the X on the bed. It's very like you can imagine whips and chains. X-rated. X-rated. And then we noticed in the bathroom, I don't know if I showed you yesterday, but there's double rainfall. So you can have a good charm with your <laughs> you can have a good charm with your partner. Woohoo! Okay, we're in the Piccadilly Tavern for breakfast. So here is the menu for those of you looking. I have ordered a, a small Irish breakfast, but it was a toss up between that or the sausage and egg bath, but I've gone for the breakfast with some toast. And a um, flat white. And here is my breakfast. Hi everybody, it is the end of the vlog. We've finally come, it's been a long mm. one, it's been a long one. Um, obviously this has spanned the time since we came back off holiday Two until now. Yeah, no, yeah. more than that. Oh, is it? It's almost three. Um, so we're back doing our weekly vlogs from now on every Monday. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the stag and hen do. We oh, managed to get fun. a few little clips. So how did the stag do go? It was really good fun. I'm terrible at axe throwing. <laughs> well, they've just seen the clip of the foam axe being oh, thrown yeah, that was at the groom. <laughs> <laughs> so he was uh, a little bit panicking at that moment when it was whizzing towards his head. But it was a foam axe. But yeah. all the other axes were real, weren't oh, they? Oh, yeah, real axes thrown at the wall. Yeah, and the hen do was fantastic. Now, for those in the US, I think a hen do in the UK is very similar to a bat. Bachelorette, yes, I think it is the same thing. I think. Yeah, so we went out. We had afternoon tea. We did some dancing. It was really, really, really good fun. Yeah. But it was the first night we spent apart for since Christmas twenty nineteen. Yeah, so it was just felt a bit weird. It did feel. But weird. I shared with Becky, and you saw Becky, and she's a bundle of fun. <laughs> so, uh, so I was two okay. bundles. Two, bun two bundles of fun. Um, so, so we really enjoyed both of our nights. <laughs> That's in stitches. Um, <laughs> Becky's known for her bundles of fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to leave it here. Make sure you check out Readly. The, the app has been a lifesaver on a holiday. And when we were away, actually, when I was, um, you know, whenever you've got a spare moment, you can get out your phone, your device, tablet, whatever, and you can... Read whatever magazine you want yeah. from Reedy. So check out our link and code, which is in our description box below. So thank you for watching this vlog, whatever it turned out to be. So uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Thumbs and up. we will see you next Monday. So mwah to you all and goodbye. Bye.